So today we're going to talk about the midpoint of a line segment, or the midpoint between two points. Now, what I mean by that is I could have a line segment, say it looks like that, right? And it'll have endpoints, right? So it'll have a point A here and a point B here. And what we want to try to figure out today is what's that point right in between points A and B, or the point right in the middle of that line segment. Okay, so essentially this point right here is going to divide the segment AB into two equal parts. Okay, so let's see how we do that. Well, if we have a grid, it's fairly straightforward. Um, all we want to do is you want to remember that the midpoint between the points A and B is essentially, you can also call it the average between the points A and B. Okay. So we know that a point will have an x-coordinate, okay, and also a y-coordinate, okay? So to figure out the average, we need to figure out the average x-coordinate. And what that means is when I say average, we need to add the two x-coordinates together. So negative 2 plus 2, and then divide them by 2, right? Because remember, averages you add your numbers and divide them by the number of numbers that you have. So this will be 0 divided by 2, which is 0. Right? For the y coordinate, we can say that uh, we can add negative 1 plus 5 and divide them by 2 because there's two points. So that's 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So that makes our midpoint, we'll call it capital M, at 0, 2. Okay, now let's just check that. So let's plot that point. So the x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 2. And yeah, it actually looks like this distance is the same as that distance. Okay? So that means what we did was we took the average of the x coordinates. So we took the x distance, added them up, divided them by 2. We took the average of the y coordinates added them up, divided them by two, and that was our point, okay? So now let's come up with a general formula, <clears throat> okay? So if I want to find the midpoint, okay, um, all we need to do is average out the two points. Well, when we say average out the two points, I mean add them together and divide them by two. So the x-coordinate is going to be the two x-coordinates added together, divided by two, and the y-coordinate is going to be the two y coordinates added together divided by two. Okay, so that's our midpoint formula that we're going to use. Okay, so what that means is knowing that formula, we can go back to that first question again and we can just plug it into the formula. So it's always useful to write out your new formulas a couple of times at the beginning so that when you're subbing in numbers, you don't make a silly mistake. So our x1 will be 2 plus x2 is going to be negative 2 over 2. And our y1 is 5. Our y2 is negative 1 over 2, which gives us 2 minus 2 is 0 over 2. 5 minus 1 is 4 over 2 is 2, right? So notice that we got the same answer. Okay, now I just want to notice that, I want you to notice that here, um, we did negative 2 plus 2, and here we did 2 plus negative 2. Now, does it really matter? It's addition, so no, because we can add in whatever order we want. Okay, so that's how we calculate the midpoint. Okay, now the reason why we might want to calculate a midpoint is because we want to be able to find things like a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so this is a new definition for you possibly. Okay, so perpendicular bisector is exactly what it says. Perpendicular means it intersects at 90 degrees, and a bisector means it splits something in half, right? Bisector means two equal pieces, okay? So if I want to figure out the equation of the perpendicular bisector of the line, uh, of the line segment AB, Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rough sketch of where A, a and B are. So here is A, and here is B. Sorry, negative 2, negative 1. Okay. 
Um, so here's our segment. Okay, and now we want to make a perpendicular bisector. Okay, so we want to figure out the equation of that line. Okay, well, what do we know about that line? Well, we know it's a bisector, all right? So we actually know that it goes right through that point. Okay, so we can say it goes through the midpoint. Right? And we actually figured out what the midpoint is before, and it was 0, 2, right? So we're looking for a line that goes through the point 0, 2. And we always say when we're looking for a line, we need a line, we need a point, and we need a slope, right? Well, the slope, we know that it's perpendicular to this line here. So we can figure out the slope of that line by doing y2 minus y1, so 5 minus negative 1 over um, x2 minus x1, so 2 minus negative 2, right? So this is 6 over 4, or 3 over 2, okay? So if the, the line segment AB has slope 3 over 2, well, we can say our perpendicular line has slope Well, it's the negative reciprocal, right? Because uh, the perpendicular line has a negative reciprocal, reciprocal slope. So that means if this line has a slope 3 over 2, our perpendicular line is going to have slope negative 2 over 3. Okay? So that means we're looking for an equation that goes through this point and has this slope. Okay? So let's find that. Okay, so if we have a point and a slope, it means we're going to use y equals mx plus b, right? And we know that's the slope, so we know that it'll be y equals negative two-thirds x plus b. And how do we find b? Well, we talked about it before, and we've said that we can plug in any point that's on this line. Well, we know that this point is on the line, right? So we can plug in x equals zero, y equals two. So 2 is equal to negative 2 thirds x plus b, which means b is 2. So that makes our equation y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Okay? So this line right here will cut this segment in half, and it'll be perpendicular to it. Okay, so that's that for the day. See you in class.